Hi everybody, welcome back. So we're going to be working on texture today. Texture with uh, watercolour and all sorts of things. So I thought I would uh, sort this out and uh, show you what some of the things that I've come up with. Um, so I've taped off a large sheet of paper into sections here. And I'm just going to go in with some watercolour here. This is called, um, this particular um, colour I'm using is an indigo. So I'm just going to go right in there with it. I'm using a dark colour so that I can uh, I can show you basically. I'm doing it just roughly, um, but hopefully, in, if the tape works out okay, um, I'll be able to use this um, for um, afterwards and uh, maybe mount it on the wall. Um, it just depends how it goes. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's nice and. Uh, nice and loose here i'm going to start out with salt and what salt can do with watercolor paint okay so i've done this like really really rough so i'm just going to get my salt i've got some here and i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on onto the while it's all wet straight away i can see it's taking an, an effect um so while that's while that's taking an effect um i'm going to leave that completely dry Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next square. It needs to be completely dry and it does affect it if you try and heat dry it. So I'm not going to do that. So um, but I thought some of these ideas might help you a little bit today. And um, we all get a little bit stuck by using the same marks, same textual marks and things, you know. So I thought it would be different. So here's something that's a little bit different. So I've got my square, it's there again. Plenty of water, plenty of water. Yeah. If you can hear a funny noise around me, it's my birdies flying around. <laughs> so, um, yes. So I'm going, I've blown up a plastic bag. This is just a ordinary bag here and I've tied it together and then what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to squash it onto the picture. And it makes beautiful marks here, as you can see. Absolutely beautiful. Just by pressing it on. If you do it on a single, uh, a, you know, a single bag corner, this was a like a nappy sack. And so therefore, um, it's made it, um, it had got two marks on it. But yeah, you're actually taking your paint off. Yeah, so that's one, another one. And right, moving on to the next one. What shall we have on this one? What do you think we should have on this one? <laughs> It's fun. This is where you have fun and this is how you learn as well. Because, especially for watercolour, because, you know, you really do need to be uh, experimenting with your watercolour to make your work, like, different. So, obviously, there's the most common things which are, like, to fade, to take water away for your distancing. So, it's nice and dark there. So I'm just going to, I'm keeping on wetting with clean water and taking some away and a bit more. I'm no watercolour expert. These are just things that I've picked up along the way. So uh, any watercolourists out there, don't try and... Uh, shoot me down because particularly i really don't care <laughs> for one and um this is just from uh for people to just have a go there we go taking a bit more water away and you can see how it's it's slowly getting coming paler which is ideal isn't it for your for showing the differences in your skies okay dry my brush a bit more so now i really want to take quite a bit off so i'm still going back in 
it's very windy here at the moment i think we've got a storm coming because this is an attic studio you'll hear that probably but uh, there we go so you can see how that's graded it it's gradiented in and then just where it meets in the middle i'm adding a, a clean brush and i'm just going to whisk that up a bit okay and then I'll, I'll leave that to go as it is okay on to the next square could have done this with a bigger brush couldn't i never mind it probably would have been neater with a bigger brush so this one here is drying really nicely now i'm pleased with that that's the plastic bag obviously if you want you can write in um you can write in front of you know next to them of what that you've used especially if it's one that you liked but i always think it's good to write on them even when you don't like because then that means that you're not going to make the same mistake again um if you don't like it okay so that's just rough enough so i'm literally going to use tissue on this just folded up tissue and go around beautiful marks absolutely stunning marks that you can use for anything okay so they're they're very basic aren't they and um okay let me just squeeze a little bit more paint out it might use up a little bit of paint this might so so i'm just uh wiping my hand doesn't matter, I'm going to be going over that. Okay, on to the next square. Just move the camera down a bit so you can see. Salt's drying really nice now. That's making uh, more cells now. The next one I'm going to show you is uh, one of my favourites. I use it all the time. It just gives it, it does give it um, a bit of a, um, a better effect actually um, when it's darker just for you to be able to see it's great fun doing this um, yeah okay so cling film you've all seen me use this before but when it's like this and it's wet it's uh, uh, and the paint's wet it's it's brilliant but what i need to do is i'm going to place that on top of there scrunch it all up and then again i'm going to have to leave that to dry so probably be about the same time as the salt so um i'm not going to peel that off until it's dry okay that's why it's a bit like a surprise isn't it it's like uh it's like when you take off your masking tape and you think so oh that looks lovely, nice clean edge now, you know, and <laughs> it makes it all fun. My bird seems very happy at the moment, flying around he has been. Doesn't matter if I go over the line because I'm going to be taking off the masking tape afterwards anyway. So um, one of my um, favourites now, I'm going to show you this one. This um, is uh, isopropyl, I can never say this, isopropyl uh, alcohol it is. It comes like this. I bought a great big, bo this big bottle and this was 99.9% pure. Uh, I got it off at Amazon and you just literally drip it on to your dark colour and it brings out your cells, makes beautiful cells. The water has to be, um, it has to be wet. You, you can't do this. You can do it on dry, but it just doesn't show up as well. So, um, yeah. But these are such beautiful um, marks for backgrounds, um, you know. So that's that one. I'll show you a close-up when I've got to the end and uh, of the moss, um, so you can see.
I love indigo. I have to say that I, I would I would say that indigo is probably my favourite. Um, it's probably my, my favourite colour, really. I think it's so versatile and such a beautiful colour. Especially with when you mix it um, with grey and things. So, OK. So now I've got um, a stencil. And what I'm going to use here as well now is... I'm going to use a baby wipe. This is a beautiful effect. This is a stencil. Um, again, got it off of Amazon, I think, but you can get them from most art shops, different kinds of circles. It's nice and thick. So I'm going to lay it on here and just pick which circles I want to use. And with my baby wipe, I'm going to remove the color of the paint and then lift it off. Make sure that you clean it if you're going to go and use a circle that's nearby it okay so here i'm going to use a smaller circle here and i'll use a bigger one here and another one here careful as you lift it Again, it makes such beautiful effects. Think about what you're doing as well. Think about the size shape that you've just done and the one that's next to it. Is it going to be a large shape and then a small shape? And straight away, you can see how that is beautifully mixing in. I'm giving it a bit of a wipe again because I don't want to smudge them. Uh, what size? What, let's do this size here. Removing it with the baby wipe. If your baby wipe gets a bit too dirty, you can you can always um, you can always get a fresh one. So don't worry. But this is one of my favourite ways of making the background. I think it's beautiful because you, when this is dry, you can always paint on top and. For those of you who uh, follow me when we're doing um, neuro art, it's a beautiful effect that you can join together and uh, just make such beautiful shapes. So that's got, got a little bit in and in between now, I'm just going to dibble dabble with my baby wipe, some different kinds of shapes. And there. There we have it, a beautiful, beautiful background. Um, I'll show you another one um, as well with this. Let me put some more um, blue on here. Oh, splashed a bit. Not that it matters, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I'll have a go at drying it all with a hairdryer for speeding it up so I can show you. But these are really um, nice effects that you can use in any kind of work, any kind of colours. You know, obviously, if you're using um, soft colours, um, you can pick your effects. They will be absolutely lovely. And, of course, with the salt, be careful because, um, you know, when you take that off, because um, it's going to go everywhere. So this time, on this wet one here, I've got another stencil of some bricking, which is uh, like really nice. I'm gonna place that down again. And then a clean baby wipe now. And I'm gonna go in now and remove the paint here. And maybe some down here. It's a bit like negative painting really. And a little bit up here, I think. I can't show you at the moment, but I will do in a little while, that it still stains it underneath. And it actually, if you're using a baby wash, it actually brings up a nice little brick effect. Um, the effect that's actually on a brick. Obviously, when it's dry, you can go back in and you can make whatever effect that you want. Um, but, um, yeah, let me just turn that down. I'll... Uh, Right, I'll, I'll uh, now the filled in, we'll just let that dry and then I'll come back and I'll show you. Right, so I'm back 
Um, so we'll start off the ones at the top, first of all. Um, so I'm going to rub off the, um, I'm rubbing off the salt off of that now. Made some, a very, it's made a very delicate kind of effect, which I'm quite pleased with because it would be ideal for trees and things. Very pretty. Okay. So moving down, let's have a look at this now. Yeah, that's gorgeous underneath there. All right, so I'm going to remove the tape. This is a bit of a tricky bit, especially when it's down the centre here. So take your time if you're wanting to save them. I wanted to save these. I'll probably put these on the wall because uh, they have got a, a nice effect. When you're pulling your tape off, a little tip is to try and pull it off at an angle, like at a 45 degree angle like that, and it will come down a lot easier. You don't really have any choice when it's in the middle. You've just got to be careful. Um, another thing is that you can... If it does start to rip, and paper starting to rip on mine, um, you can heat it up with a hairdryer, and uh, it will it will stop that. So oh, it's just a little bit. It's not ripped into the painting, so that doesn't matter. Although it's not, you know, I'm not trying to make a painting. I'm trying to show you the effects. But I think that if you do get some good ideas. It's a good, it is a good idea to actually save it into your book or onto the wall and then you've got it. And especially if you've, um, you know, if you've, so I'm just doing it gently, especially if you've taken a little bit of time. Um, and if you want to do it with masking tape like I've done here, it's left it all lovely for you to be able to write in underneath the effects of what you've done. All right, see if I can pick it up now and turn it round. You can see the effect of it. It's beautiful just on its own. Try and get some good masking tape if you can. This is just one from the local... Um, I think it was from the range, actually, or somewhere like that. Um, but yeah, you know, so this isn't, a, this is all about experimenting this video. So, uh, um, I, you ought to have a go. I'd be interested to see what rock salt would do with it being, uh, you know, thicker, um, thicker salt. Uh, it probably would absorb more of the water because that's how it creates its cells and its marks it's from it's from the water isn't it it's absorbing it and um and that's what it's and that's what's creating the cells so excuse me for a second if i'm not talking And now I'm going down the centre. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Like I say, it doesn't matter if it even rips. It's not important. It's just, it's for your own reference. But here we have it. Look at that, that's beautiful. You see, I love indigo. So, um, and uh, the marks that you can make from it absolutely gorgeous imagine those if they were um I, I, you know parts of pictures the starts of pictures you've got it all there let me just um show you a better view so here we are i'm going to zoom in if i can so the top left one which is this one here this was done with salt let's see if i can focus there there's still some on it actually that i could rub off yeah make some a nice effect Next one across was the plastic bag that was blown up and twisted and, and tied and then um, 
painted onto the paper first and then just twisted it on. Um, yeah. The next one was putting thick paint on and then across all of the square and then removing some paint by dampening it and wetting wetting the brush down using less and less so it gradiented it and then i can't say that word i'm sorry everyone and then across here i just went up a little bit with a little bit of just a clean water and you can see that how that would be a start of a lovely picture obviously you would use a big brush not a small brush and you wouldn't get these marks I love this next one here, um, very pretty effect, um, such a nice idea, just moving down, that I think, was that the, yes that was just um, a tissue, literally was just dry tissue, and then moving down here was the cling film. This is one of my favourites because when you look closely at this, it's really pretty. Really, really pretty. It looks like um, a frosty effect, doesn't it? Shame where the paper's ripped a bit there. Doesn't matter. And then this is the isopromol uh, alcohol um, that, you, uh, that you could get online. I found with this, though... Because I put the paint on quite thick, remember it's all watercolour that I've put on. If you'd put that, I find that this works better when the paint is thinner and more watery. And then your cells become more apparent. But still, quite a good effect. And then, moving on. This was the uh, round stencils. And then, as you can see, as I've pulled it off um, with the baby wipe, using the baby wipe it still leaves a slight like dyed paper pattern underneath and um which which makes it like a almost like a, a mid tone if you like because you've got your dark you're very light and then you've got a, like a mid tone in between and it's kind of just shows you how you can really really use beautiful effects but but the mid tone is also inside there and I, I really like that. And then with a baby wipe, I just twisted, didn't I? Uh, just little bits, just in, in that bottom corner. And then finally I did, this was the brick stencil. I mean, all these stencils and things, I've had them years. If I show you this stencil, look, you can see how dirty and how, how old it is. But they can all be bought on Amazon, um, you know, there's so many um, places that sell them. Um, you just pick them up uh, anywhere, craft shops and everything. So, yeah. So, all in all, a very um, good effect. Um, so, I've got another sheet of paper and I might try some more. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you're coming back to the, the channel. Um, I thought it'd be nice to have a little bit of colour today after been doing my uh, drawings. I'll just step across there and quickly show you I've got a little bit further with the drawing, the big one, because this one's always set up um, there. So in the tunnel that I've done just there, that has been done with plain black pen, but then using one of these effects, I've gone back into it, look, and then added the brick on top. So you can get, you can even put them into like black and white drawings and just enjoy it. All right then, so just thought I'd show you the bench as well <laughs> it makes quite a mess experimenting <laughs> so if I was to put some white gesso splatters on some of these now you could really bring these pictures out so um yeah I hope you've enjoyed So I thought I'd do some more. Um, I've just shown you those quickly. So here's the brick effect again. Um, it's bled a little bit more this time. This one I've scratched into it. I'll show you a, again them close up uh, afterwards. And more uh, 
more of my favorite one because i love that one uh this one literally was just bits of uh, baby wipe and uh, tissues and all sorts of things like that so this this one i'm going to just lay it screw up a baby wipe and just lay it on pretty much where the way that you do when you're doing the um cling film but the baby wipe where the bits are that's in between they will fetch the paint off if you press it down it, try not to smudge it you have to be very very careful and then when you peel it off it's made a lovely beautiful pattern and sometimes you know you can even use the pattern that you've peeled off for the next one and print it down onto the next picture to make another pattern which makes it really different and nice yeah so that's our in between very pale though not over thrilled with that one so i'm going to go over that one but i'm really enjoying this experimentation especially for the abstract painters out there um, because um, you know it really makes a, a big difference of of things that you can do, and uh, and patterns you know uh, pattern making uh, your pattern makers that's out there. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit more of a, a scenery, I think. So again, uh, the baby wipe. I'm doing this sideways on so that you can see. It. I'll turn it round when it's all done. So I'm going to remove. Um, from off the top here, down this side. Still hear my bird flying about. <laughs> He's a very busy bird today. Yeah. And that shows you how that you can, you know, you can make it like really sort of, you can move that on as your, as your horizon. And then I've got this, it's like a, a hook come, it's a tool that I've used for many years and you can drag your lines up back into that, which will give such a beautiful effect of like, as if you were looking into um, a swamp of some sort. So you can pull that all up onto here. I'm sure you do it all in different, I'm doing it very quickly. I would really take my time if I was doing this. And maybe um, a couple of, ones that are a bit thicker all different kinds of shapes and then bringing them in at the bottom i'm going to continue a little bit on fast time and talk to you about them afterwards else i shall run out of time because uh, this is quite a long video but this is a video that i think you'll find very very important and effective you can pick which ones that you want and like i say you can you can uh, you can um label them up if you want to or you, if you really like them you could cut them out and make them as proper pictures so yeah there you go so i'm gonna bring that down a little bit there and you can see how you're altering the picture a little bit already Okay, so that's that one. I'm going to speed this up. The next one I'm going to do is um, making a pattern on the next one. So. so this time doing a few splatters. Just gently, well, I've just used a bit of gesso actually because that's what I've got left over. Um, I'm just doing them with a brush. This is showing you again, different kinds of splatters. And then you can do big splatters. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. All done with the brush. And on to the next one. Okay, this final one, I've just put a little bit on there. And then um, I've got, I did bring it with me. Where have I put it? I have got a candle. <coughs> I don't know what I've done with it. Bear with. So this one is just a piece of candle. So I've got a little bit on there. And then I'm just going to rub it on just for adding some resistance, really. Um, just for the picture, uh, for the paint. And then we can see what comes from that. 
and then paint over it. So just get the bits off of there. And then obviously look where the candle has been, it's given up resistance. Where the candle has not been, there's no resistance. So that's a good way of adding layers and lights against dark and things like that. So um, yeah, excellent. So um, next thing is I'm going to dry all this and then get back to you. Okay, so I'm just removing off the cling felt, beautiful. And um, I'm gonna remove the tape and then come back to you. Okay, so here we have it. So this was the candle wax one here um that was resistant here and then the dark look at that beautiful effect and then i went over that dark again uh, once it was dry and um you know so you've got like a dark and then light and then a mid-tone there and it's made that a, a really nice you know piece of work and then here this was just the baby white remember but you know this could be clouds so easily it's a beautiful way to make a stormy day uh, the cling film as we know and then some splatters how the splatters show up beautifully on on top of that it looks like rain on a window uh, that's why I just love this um, this particular paint this indigo because it's it's so versatile so this was the swampy look that we did so I painted it over completely remember and then I went back in uh, with a baby wipe and removed some of the uh, paint and then scratched in with my little scratchy tool. Uh, these, you can get these little tools, um, you get them in a set. Um, they're for clay making and sculpting, actually. I used to use them for dog portraits and cat portraits. And then here again, uh, this was just a baby wipe just laid on top didn't move it just scrunched it a bit and i didn't leave it to dry i removed it while it was wet just pulled it off gently i i love this effect because this could be so so good for uh leaves and trees and things like that and this was just showing you how i was scratching in again this was this was um the stencil again and showing you how you can kind of like knock it back into the light so all in all, had two beautiful sets that I've done here now. And uh, with lots and lots of different effects. I do hope you liked the video. Uh, like I say, if you have done and you want to come back to the channel or you feel you keep coming back to the channel, then please like and subscribe. And um, I'll talk to you all again soon.